The everything section in Teamwork Projects allows you to view all tasks, milestones, messages, files, and more across your Teamwork Projects installation. This is really useful to see what exactly has been done and needs to get done over your entire Teamwork Projects site. So to get to your everything section, all we need to do is select the everything option here. And now you can see that we can view all active tasks, all completed tasks, milestones, messages, comments, files, time, notebooks, risks, links, and workload. So our first tab here is viewing all active tasks. So over on the left hand side, we can see the project. So here's blog content, company newsletter, etc. And then over in the middle here, we can see our task lists. And then within those task lists, we can see all of our currently active tasks. And we can manipulate these tasks exactly as we can in a particular project. So we can edit our task. We have our options drop down here. We can mark our task as complete. We can see who's assigned the task, what the task is, and we have all the same customization options here. Over to the right hand side, we can sort our tasks. So we can sort by start date, due date, etc. And if we're looking to find a particular task or set of tasks across all of our projects, rather than having to scroll through each individual task, we can easily just create a filter here. And again, this works much the same way as it does on a particular project. So now that we've had a look at all of our active tasks, let's have a quick look at all of our completed tasks. So in this window, again, we can see the projects here. Below this are the task lists. And then down here, we can see the information about the completed tasks. So we can view the task itself by clicking on the links here. We can also see our start date and our due date. We can see the priority, who was assigned the task, who created the task, when the task was created, who completed the task, when the task was completed. If any non-billable time was logged to this task, we'll see it here. Likewise for billable. And we can also see our estimated time. If we want to retroactively log some time for a completed task, we can easily do so here. And again, we have several sorting and filtering options available. If we want to select all of our milestones across all of our projects, just select the milestones tab here. And here we can see all of our milestones. However, if we just want to see the upcoming milestones, we can just select upcoming. Similarly, we can see our late milestones, our completed milestones, and even get a calendar view of all of our milestones. Over in the messages tab, we can see all of the messages across all of our projects. So we can see who added the message, the title of the message, the project the message is located in, the body of the message here. We can see any reactions as well as add a reaction. And over here, we can see who viewed the message. We can also change how we browse our messages. So currently we're in a list view. However, we can change this to a collapsed view or indeed an expanded view. And in the expanded view here, we can also see any replies added to the message. Similar to viewing all messages, we can also view all comments where again, we can see who added the message, the project, where the comment is located. So in this case, it's on a file. We can add reactions here. If we select the options drop down, we can quickly add a reply. We can edit the comment if it's one of our own. We can also delete the comment and copy the link. And again, we can also change how we view these comments. So now it's reduced down to a list view. As well as being able to view all comments, we can also view all files. So again, we can see the project, we can see the company, we can see the file, who added the file, we can react to the file. Over on the right hand side here, you can see that we can edit our file, preview our file, view the file, download this version, upload a new version. And if we select the drop down here, we can edit the file details. We can upload a new version from here. We can move or copy the file, delete the file, share the file, or lock this file for editing. Now, if we take a quick look at the all time tab, up at the top here, we can view our totals. So the logged time, non-billable, billable, estimated, and build. Here we can see all of our time is ordered by date. So for example, here we have the 23rd of February. We can see the project that the time was logged to. We can see who logged the time. If a description or any tags were added, we'll see that here. If the time was logged to a particular task list, we can easily see it here. We can see our start time and our end time, whether or not the time is billable, whether or not the time has been billed, the amount of time logged in hours and minutes, the amount of time logged in decimal hours. We can edit the log time if we want to. And below this for that particular date, we can see the totals. So we have our total logged time, our total non-billable time, and our total billable time. We can also easily quickly log time here or indeed start a timer. 
we can export our time logs, and again, we can filter our time here. Moving on now to the notebooks tab where we can view all notebooks across all projects. So we can see the date the notebook was added, the title of the notebook, the project that the notebook is in, we can see which version of the notebook this is, and when it was last updated and who updated it. We can edit the notebook, we can edit the details of the notebook, delete the notebook, add a tag, and quick view here. Again, over on the right hand side, we can change our view, so list view, expanded view, or indeed a grid view. We can also view all of our risks across all of our projects. So again, this works much the same way as it does on a particular project. So we can see all of our risks ordered by project. So here, enterprise sales, we can see the company, and then we can see our risks. If we want to view all of our links, we can easily do so here. And if we go to the workload tab here, we can see the amount of time spent working by each user. And if you want to find out more about the workload tab, then check out our video on that. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get to grips with the everything section in Teamwork Projects. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us, support at teamwork.com.